My name is Dr. Ruth Jones. I'm a physiotherapist and I have a PhD in the pelvic floor. And I wanted to create this video today in order to help people help themselves alongside their physiotherapist. So I treat people with pelvic pain, but also pelvic dysfunction, men and women. I actually work with more men than I do with women. And so probably most guys don't know they've got a pelvic floor. That mate you have. So there is this wonderful tool called Easy Magic that I use because I tell my patients I work to redundancy so that they go, I'd like to go and see Ruth, but I don't have to. So anything I do to my patients, I teach them to do to themselves. And the Easy Magic Wand is magnificent for that. So this is the Easy Magic Wand. It is actually beautifully shaped. It's made of medical grade glass, so you can warm it up, you can pull it down. And so if some people like to use it really, really warm to help to relax, some people feel as if they've got burning inside, so they like to cool it down in order to make them feel more comfortable. But it's just beautifully shaped and it's so easy to use. I don't always use this end because, particularly with the guys, it can be a little bit uncomfortable to begin with. So I'll often use this end instead. And what this video is gonna do is to show you how to utilize this, because you can't do any harm if you follow our rules. So once the Easy Magic's in, if you've got it completely straight and you went downwards, that would be 12 o'clock, but you'd be on the coccyx. So you don't want to go there to begin with. So immediately you go lateral as if one o'clock, and then two o'clock and three o'clock. And you sustain that pressure only if it refers. If it doesn't refer, don't bother. And then you bring it out and then you can go to 12 o'clock because your wand is further out and you're no longer on the coccyx. So again, sustaining that if it refers and just working your way around because it's a whole bowl and you need to be able to again, cover the whole area. You can't do any harm at all if you follow my rules. And what that is, is if you just push and it just hurts where you're pushing, don't bother. But if it radiates elsewhere, then you sustain that pressure up to 60 seconds. There are others that will say 90 seconds, but I prefer to go on the side of caution. So I say 60 seconds. And so you sustain that pressure until the um, referred pain eases off. It's normal for it to hurt just where you're pushing, right? So don't bother. It's only if it spreads elsewhere. So you just work yourself along the clock. If you've got one side that's more uncomfortable than the other, sometimes working on the least painful side to begin with is really, really helpful because that will help to quieten down the other side. So this is what sometimes I will do if it's too uncomfortable on one side compared to the other. The only different one is the hip one where you have to turn the Easy Magic 90 degrees and you're heading off towards the hip because as I said, it's like a bowl. And it's not just a tiny component muscle, it's a big, so you might just have to angle it in slightly different places. Right? So that's why it's really, really wonderful because the shape of the Easy Magic is just perfect for this. So these are the two positions I tend to recommend for my patients to use the Easy Magic. The first one is standing up with one leg up on a chair or at the toilet seat, for example. And if you're, relaxing the right hand side use your left hand because it's easier to actually get to the muscles it, your hand is in a better position and things like this but make sure your stomach is completely relaxed and this is a really useful position because gravity helps for your stomach to relax when you're actually doing this the other position is leaning against a wall or your bed so that again you're completely relaxed and you can put some pillows underneath there if you want to as well some people like to do this in the bath because they're even more relaxed. And once again, if you're doing your left hand side release, use your right hand. If you're doing the right hand side release, do the left hand. So just to summarise the most important points, make sure you talk to your physiotherapist. Obviously you need to clean this before and after use and find the most comfortable position for you. Sometimes it's in one position, sometimes it's in the other. Make sure that when you are pressing on using the Easy Magic Wand, that you only sustain the pressure up to 60 seconds and it has to refer. If it doesn't refer, don't sustain the pressure, go to a different spot. 
Thanks to Easy Magic, this could be the end of your pelvic pain. If you've got any other questions, just look on the website and thank you for watching.